Well, hello everyone. Today's clinical topic is quite evident in front of you in the form of three beautiful images that are one of the most frequently asked MCQs in your entrance exam. I'm sure if you see this image number one, you can conclude that you are dealing with what? Genoverum. Okay, so this is basically genoverum for you because we know that whenever we use the word genoverum, it's not that the geno or the knee will go into varus, it is always the part distal to geno, that is the tibia, the leg, the fibula, they go towards midline, so we call it genoverum. By the way, this is also called as bow legs. The second image that I want you to see here is this, okay, this is what is called as Genu valgus. Now when I say Genu valgus, what does that mean? That Genu, mm -hmm, the part distal to Genu will go away from midline, it will go away from the midline, that is what is called as Genu valgus, which is by the way also what is called as knock knees. Now, if you see, then this is Genu varus here, and if you see, then it is Genu valgus on this side. It feels as if you know a wind came and the knee got, but the knees got swept with it. So, this third image, what you are looking at right now, is what is called as wind swept deformity. So now if you see the fourth image, this fourth image is basically showing you the changes in the distal end of the wrist. So these are basically the changes due to rickets. So these are the changes in the distal end of the radius due to rickets, metaphysial cupping, splaying, fraying, broadening, widening. And this fifth image that you see here is what is called as racketic rosary. So I just wanted to cover a few very important radiological and clinical spotters and out of which we have covered five clinical spotters here what can be the further leading question let's talk about them the further leading question is pretty simple that they can ask you about the most common cause of of what they can talk to you about the most common cause in children of geno virus well answer is records followed by idiopathic similarly they can ask you the most common cause of geno valgus in children it is just the opposite which is idiopathic followed by records they can ask you the most common cause of wind swept deformity in children the answer is but of course records this is one of the most frequently asked set of three one-liner MCQs. Now one day they will definitely alter it. I'll tell you how they will alter it. Rather than children, they will mention the word adults or they will mention the word rather elderly. For Geno virus, if they ask you in adult or elderly, the most common cause, believe me, is osteoarthritis. For Geno virus in adult or elderly, the most common cause is rheumatoid arthritis. For windswept deformity in adult, again, it is rheumatoid arthritis. So, a very useful topic that we've discussed just now with five clinical spotters along with certain one-liner MCQs. I wish you all the best. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.